I'm turning this 250 square feet living room into a classy home library. But before that, let's take a closer look at the existing space. The house is located in Western United States. It belongs to DJP, who works in academia. I created a 3D sketch using information provided by DJP, and let's explore the space virtually. Despite being built in the 1950s, the original hardwood floors have been kept in a relatively good condition. Walls in this living room have been painted in a pale yellow, and the room has a sizable window that lets in a great deal amount of sunlight. The ceiling has a curved curved ceiling detail, and there's a fireplace that is no longer in use. But before designing, let's understand DJP's needs. While the space feels cozy, DJP wants to have more storage and a nicer way to display her books. In addition, she wants the living room to function as a large study, giving her an enjoyable reading space. She also insisted in keeping the rug and the couch. To begin, I need to allocate an area for the bookshelves. The space on either side of the fireplace is currently underutilized. Since the fireplace will not be demolished for cost-saving reasons, I'm going to surround it by a custom bookshelves. This is going to be built using furniture boards. In fact, I'm going to actually extend it to the full length of this living room, making it into a functional feature wall. Next, I'll dress up the fireplace by adding glossy porcelain tile to the face of it. For me, the orthogonal shape of the bookshelves appears too rigid and formal, so let's soften it up by creating an archway corridor. While the newly added bookshelves created a lot of useful storage, they also created another problem. As you can see here, it reduces the use of space in the living room quite significantly. So let's enlarge the room using optical illusion. I'm going to place a large full height mirror on either side of the bookshelves. You can see that we've created a seemingly infinite book corridor. Not only does it make the room appear more spacious, but it also helps the light reflect better in room and make the room appear more bright in general. Next, let's talk about the color palette. I think a study should feel cozy and classy at the same time. Let's paint both the bookshelves and the wall with heck blue in a matte finish. The matte finish will help absorb sunlight, preventing excessive glare, making the room more suitable for reading. When I was designing the room, I've noticed the lack of shoe rack and sideboard near the door. A sideboard is particularly handy for placing small items such as car keys and wallets on the go. I've decided to place a couple of IKEA shelves here. Not only are they really budget friendly, but they act as a really good divider between the entrance lobby and the newly designed study area. And let's also place a wicker weave bench also from IKEA here. This allows DJP to have a dedicated area to put on her shoes, but also have the shoes stored underneath, making the entire space feels more tidy. I also added a few brass hooks on top of the bench for hanging jackets. As a final touch, I added some wooden cornices on the ceiling, replacing the dated curved curved detail. Even though the custom bookshelves may be slightly more tricky and expensive to build, it does transform an outdated space into a more stylish and welcoming study. The new color scheme featuring the shade of blue and a touch of brass added a modern and sophisticated touch to the room. Overall, I think the makeover has managed to create a cozy space that function as a great living room and a nice, cozy and snug study. If you like the design, please give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe for weekly updated content if you haven't already. Then click here for other similar projects I've done. See you next time.